This video will go through the steps required for program staff to leave an internal program review on policy documents. Policy documents that are ready for internal program review will be found in the Program Open Items queue. You can get there by clicking on the Go To tab from the home page. Once here, you will see the Program Open Items tab and any items that are available for internal program review will be shown in the list. Clicking on the ID will open that item. You will see in the middle section the date that the activity will close on. This is how long you have to do your internal program review. You will already be in the Attachments tab of the item. You can click on the Item Info tab if you'd like to see the data that was entered by the author when they created the item. In the Attachments tab, you will see a type called Internal Program Comments. This is the file where you will be leaving your comments. There's a checkout button that you will click on. If the item is already checked out, there will not be a checkout button and you can click on the Actions tab to see who has it checked out. Clicking on the checkout button will begin the internal program review process. The first thing that will happen is a window will open notifying you that if you do not check the item back in prior to midnight, you will lose any of your changes. This is done to keep the process moving forward. To continue, click on the checkout document in this window. Now you can see that the button has changed to say check in. This is what you will do when you are done with your review. To open the file to complete your review, you will click on the file name. You will need to open the file. You will need to click on the Enable Editing button at the top. Once the document is opened, click on Review and turn on Track Changes if they have not already been turned on. You can also select All Markup so that you can see any changes that others have done. This will be a running document and it will hold your changes as well as anybody else's. Once you have done that, review the document as you normally would. You can make changes or add comments the same as you have done before. Once you've completed your review, go ahead and go to File and Save As. Leave the file name the same. Then you can close the document. Click on the Check In button. Click on the Upload File button. Find the file that you saved with your comments or edits. You can enter comments if you would like and then hit Save. You'll be returned to the Item Info tab of that item. When you click on the Attachments tab, you should see that the button now says Check Out, which means it's available for somebody else to check out and do their review. You can also see that there's a new section called Show Previous Versions. If you click on the Toggle button, you will see the version that you overrode. If you go to the Actions tab and scroll down, you can see that the attachment was checked out by me, the date and the time, and then when it was checked in as well. If any comments were left on check-in, they would show here. The next thing I'd like to show you is what happens if you do an internal program review and you don't have any comments or edits on the document, but you still want to show that you looked at it. You're going to start in the same way by looking at Program Open Items queue, clicking on the Go To tab, clicking on the ID to open the item. Once again, you're in the Attachments tab and you're going to click on the Checkout button. You're going to read the notice about the fact that the document will be checked back in prior to midnight if you don't check it in yourself. Click on the Checkout Document button there. Now click on the file name to open the document. Click on Enable Editing. Now if you don't have any comments or edits to add, you would just close the document. Once again, you're going to click on the Check In button. This time you'll see that there's a checkbox with no comments. When you click this checkbox, you are basically notifying the author and anybody else who looks at the action log that while you looked at the document and reviewed it, you don't have any comments or edits for that policy document. You can leave comments here for the author that will show up in the action log. Then you would click on the Save button. When you click on the Actions tab now and scroll down, you will see that there is a new entry that says Attachment checked in with no changes by me with a date and a time. This allows the author and management or anybody else in CVB to see that a document was reviewed multiple times even if there weren't comments or edits added each time. 